hello and thank you so very much for joining me tonight what we're gonna get into today is a session to support burnout i'm going to be making this in a few different parts and layers as i have been with other um things that i know i want to work through recently like our subconscious abundance series and you know like different stuff like that so this will be a little bit of a layered um, practice. So, I am presently going through burnout myself, so I don't want to come and be like, hey, this is how you fix everything, but I'm going to share definitely this um, opportunity invitation to feel your feels and to validate and reflect because there's a lot of need for reflection when burnout is happening. Okay? But I'm sure I'll come back once I've kind of clicked some things into place or, you know, I've learned some stuff myself. Maybe I'll have more tips for you. <laughs> but I do have some right now and I do have some that we can work through. So I hope that you enjoy. I hope that this serves you and supports you. I do have a little... little sponsored portion here for you. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for helping me to support myself. Thank you. Can't thank you enough. And I'll see you very soon as we get into our session, okay? Thanks so much. Thank you so very much to Blinkist for partnering with me on today's video. Blinkist is absolutely one of my favorite apps, which allows you to understand the most important things from over 5,500 non-fiction books and podcasts in just 15 minutes. I can't tell you how therapeutic Blinkist has been for me over the past several months. I've been dealing with a lot of anxiety, which is something I don't deal with on the regular, so I'm building my skills and expanding my perspectives on this subject through a variety of titles that I've discovered through the psychology section and the health section as well. For example, I didn't know that inflammation in the body was something that can kind of have an impact on your mental health and incorporating different diets such as like the Mediterranean style diets can be really helpful for reducing inflammation. I really love the explore tab on Blinkist. I love going through the categories philosophy, science, parenting, health and wellness, business uh, topics as well. Really, there's such a wealth of information here and really easy to access and digest. Today I was listening to the upside of your dark side, why being your whole self, not just your good self, drives success and fulfillment, and future tense, why anxiety is good for you even though it feels bad. <laughs> I love Blinkist's bite-sized content in just 15 minutes. That's all you need to get powerful insights into different topics. There's an audio feature, of course, so Blinkist is fitting into a active lifestyle by offering a great audio experience, hence allowing you to fit education into your everyday life. It's a bit of a uh, edutainment, <laughs> basically being educated and entertained at the same time, which is why I find myself choosing Blinkist so often throughout the day. The audio experience is just really well done and more than, you know, just a book summary. Blinkist has a newer feature called Blinkist Connect, which allows all premium users to share your account with another person of your choice. So you're kind of getting a two for one here at no additional cost to you. You can easily share blinks and short casts with one click to each other. You can also add additional comments and thoughts that maybe you want to share or converse about to the recommendations to learn and discuss the titles. So you're basically able to share blinks and shortcasts with one another through the share feature. But don't worry, your um, personal reading does remain private and only the titles you choose to share will be visible by your uh, share partner here. Blinkist has a very generous offer, of course, for my viewers and subscribers. Click the link or scan the QR code to start your 7-day free trial and get 25% off a premium membership. Cannot recommend Blinkist enough. It has provided so many aha moments. It helps me in conversations, having something interesting to talk about always. 
It inspires me to make changes in my life and just really feels good to listen to. As simple as that sounds. Thank you so very much to Blinkist for partnering with me on today's video and thank you so very much viewers and subscribers. Truly couldn't do this without you. And now let's get into our session. So if you dealt with burnout in the past, if you're presently experiencing it, or if you want to prepare yourself for the future because really there are things that we can put into place that prevent this from happening, or warning signs so we see it but we don't let it get too far gone, whether you're dealing with excessive hours at work, whether there is a really mm, off ratio to your play and your family time and your personal time and your work life, whether you're dealing with a perfectionism sort of um, element here, or you've gone through a traumatic event or witnessed a traumatic event, or you are um, feeling like heavy, heavy responsibility. <laughs> There's so many things that can cause this. Or maybe you're dealing with insecurity. Maybe you have gone through a breakup or some big transition in your life. Maybe you're dealing with a health issue or health scare. Something you need to face. Whatever the case may be, these are all components that can kind of like lead to the perfect storm creating this field of burnout. And I just want to clarify here because um, I talked about this a little on my vlog channel, but my research into burnout really almost feels a little manipulative in a sense because it talks specifically to employers and supporting their employees so that they can continue their productivity, so that they can be more enthusiastic at work and stuff. And that's good, you know, I would love for businesses and employers to be more considerate of all of that. And at the same time, sometimes burnout is a sign of like, this just isn't for you anymore. Or really, from my humble opinion here and experience, something needs to change. Whether it's to pull back in hours, whether it's to um, prioritize your own well-being, to take more breaks. There's a lot of different things at play or that could be at play. But 
I think often too it's a sort of crumbling, you know, the last straw, the tower moment where you kind of hit a little bit of a rock bottom or like a true empty tank, like you truly run out of gas, run out of fuel, and we become a little apathetic, we go through the motions, sometimes we push even harder because we're trying to keep that momentum going and it's just grinding the gears, like really damaging our engines. Or maybe we just stop altogether and we're not taking care of ourselves at all, not being productive like at all, which you know, there's times for that. But if we're not addressing the issue and we're kind of, you know, really low on getting the things done that we wanna get done on our lists, um, you know, that's not gonna work really in the long term either. You know, we can't call out work every single day. So, and I mean that kind of like figuratively, but also could be literally. So, wherever you're at, whatever you're presently experiencing or preparing for the future, or healing still things from the past that maybe you've kind of gone through, I wanna create a session here to support you and me <laughs> through this incredibly challenging experience like burnout is no freaking joke like it sounds like oh yeah like i'm burnout like it's easy to say and kind of you know we can kind of look at it lightly but truly it's a crisis of sorts so i hope this supports you and i'm gonna light our candle and get into it thank you for hearing me out in the intro this is definitely going to be one of the sessions that i need to talk to you through um so thanks for for being okay with that if you are. So I've lit some candles. We have a total of eight candles in the background, which is intentional. Six, three on each side for that harmony. A little bit of grounding energy. Two in the center here. One, two. To bring us to eight for real balance and flow and regaining equilibrium. And our candle here intentionally is going to represent change or the next like door opening, the next phase, what comes next after or through this experience. What change do we need to make? What story do we need to write for ourselves? How can we recreate or adapt or evolve in a sense? And I don't mean us as in we need to change. I mean, we need to make a change. Whatever that might be, more time with friends, Taking better care of your body and your needs. Feeding yourself perfectly. <laughs> so, here's our opportunity for change, our invitation for change. And also, of course, validation and harmony and other things we'll work through. But for our intention, I'd love to invite you to set an intention for change. To correct this, to heal this, to pivot in this moment. And if you're thinking about this for the future, you know, these can be steps to kind of like um, burnout proof in a sense. <laughs> Maybe that's not 100% true, but burnout proof or, you know, the awareness to watch out for this. Listen to your instincts, listen to what your inner voice is telling you, how you're feeling. and greatest good, perfect comfort, perfect alignment. Our intention is to honor 
validate, be heard, be seen, hear ourselves truly because yes, it's atmospheric, like it, it's about our, you know, contributing to the environment, it's about the resources we're getting from the environment, the imbalance in that, the excessive output, not so much receiving to replenish ourselves, but all of that is internal, like where are the ones doing this to ourselves and yes your boss might be putting pressure on you or yes you need to pay your bills and you know pick up extra shifts or whatever it might be i don't mean to deny that but ultimately we're the ones that are going to make this change in our lives to correct to amend to redirect to pivot as i said before so i just want to hold space setting those intentions for change for a shift for an aha, for a breakthrough, for something major that we develop, that we feel good about to create for ourselves, to rework our schedules, to find a different job, to be more um, practical in a sense with ourselves and how much we expect out of ourselves or how much pressure we put on ourselves. So if you have your own intention here that you would like to set, please send it in. I'll help you. I'll take your intention and just direct it in. Pop, pop, pop. And we're going to feed these as well with a little incense. is ceremony incense from Bala's Enchanted Perfumery. I love the sound of this. Herbs and resins and woods. Oh my gosh. So freaking yummy. And I'm just gonna Pretty pinch. And just as this is your flame, your representation of your soul, your spirit, your essence, your energy, we want to feed it a little here, all right? We want to give it that extra energy. But not even extra, we want to replenish. So we're going to send this in your flame. I'm going to do three. Again. And one more. This burnout can lead to physical issues. Like if you're getting the message, hmm, I'm working too much. Oh, I feel imbalanced. Oh, I'm starting to feel apathetic. I'm starting to res have a resentful feeling. This doesn't feel the way it should, and I know that. And we keep pushing ourselves. Sooner or later, the body's going to start talking. The body's going to tell you, slow the F down. I'm going to slow you down. How about that? And I'm laughing about it, but man, it sucks. It sucks that it has to get that bad to get our attention. Maybe it's migraines. Maybe it's a broken bone. Maybe it's bad sleep. Nightmares. Anxiety attacks. 
Maybe it's an actual physical dis-ease in the body. Presently in my burnout, my circulation is what's kind of getting my attention big time. So we're going to use this super sweet elemental rattle from um, the rattle maker who has a shop on Etsy. And I really want to use this one specifically because, again, in this burnout experience, the bare minimum, for me at least, is not being covered. Like, feeding yourself, taking the sleep that, you know, like getting sleep, going to bed on time, listening to your body's needs, like it's all an elemental, basics, foundational experience, or connection, rather. So gonna use this rattle all around you. And this will be the noisiest part. I know not everybody loves rattles. I think y'all are crazy. <laughs> I mean that playfully of course, but we want to break down that apathetic numbness, that disconnection from you and your body and you and your body's signals and you and your emotional signals, your mental, very cognitive this isn't good for me. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. We want to break through the numbness, the blockades, the blockages that have, um, we've kind of built like calluses almost for these signals, these intuitive and physical and beyond si signals, awareness that we have. So we can get those messages and not get to that point of, wow, like my tank is totally empty. And I'm freaking out, you know, so I'm going to start over your head. Up, like up, 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 through your connection to the spirit, to the beyond, to your highest intelligence, to your higher soul, God, the universe, ascended masters, like Jesus, Mary, any that you work with and I'm going to focus down below your feet focusing on your earth connection the body, the blood, the resources the support the path the journey, the direction of your path getting you back in alignment with your heart, your soul your needs of this channel moving through you from earth to heaven and you this nexus of divine forces okay I'm gonna go all through like through the sacral area around like an orbit from the sacral around 
these roads. I'm gonna try to be as quiet as I can. Okay. Plexus. We've done the root and the crown sort of already, so we don't have to worry about that. And just again, around the heart. Here we have a piece of petrified wood that one of my old viewers got for me, Carolina. And the wood, so solid. Ashtara I'm gonna go all around and just again sending you energy like let's fill up your cup this whole time this whole thing is about filling up your cup and others too but just wanna move through send you that energy Awakening, clarifying, it smells absolutely amazing. I don't buy Apollo for myself anymore, but you know, when I'm gifted it, <laughs> I truly treasure it, and I even break off little pieces so I can make it last longer. Okay, we just want to envelop you a little here, hug you, give you a little self-hug. In fact, if you're open to it, I want to encourage you to place your hands on your shoulders. Just give yourself a little self-hug here and direct all that energy back to yourself. This is a time to refill for you, okay? Placing this on the wood, as I said, the petrified wood. Alright. I can use this athame. used to be in my grandmother's parlor. Or study, I don't even know what you would call it, but it's a beautiful apothecary, magical looking room. And we're going to
we're gonna use this to cut I don't know cords isn't really the best word but cut the channels so we can redirect it's not about like severing in this a sort of banishing sort of sense although if you want to work with that that way you can set an intention to it's more about kind of like if you pictured maybe being in the sand on the beach and I don't know if you've ever or even in your backyard you've ever made like little hole like kids just dig were you like a digger I was a little digger in the backyard and you can make like holes <laughs> and kind of connect them and then pour water into one and watch them do st stuff like that or just imagining like how pathways are formed rivers are formed currents are formed we want to carve new channels here we want to redirect kind of um build a little dam or a redirection point <laughs> we'll do that later but first we want to open up that new channel that new pathway for more balanced work, more supported work, more um, self-care folded in and I don't just mean like pampering and like a spa day, I mean like the essentials, like your needs, your physical, emotional, mental, all of the needs that you may have. So you want to carve these paths for your habits, your day-to-day, -day, your workflow, whatever it might be that really kind of led to or creates a burnout experience for you we want to carve new or you know pivot <laughs> open new roads new channels that we are choosing to create to support ourselves okay so i'm kind of gonna be in a weird position here but we want to start and carve through carving into the ether these pathways, these channels that flow back to you, that replenish you, that yes, feed your soul, feed your purpose. But we're just opening the door here for a new, your new story, your new chapter, your new era. into the very earth here. Yes, it's the thought. That's kind of what I was trying to work with. First here, like how we think about things, how we plan things, how we fill our schedule. But I also want to focus on carving into the earth. These empowered, supported, balanced, effective, Harmonize channels. So, carving into the earth. Feel it. Feel your blade in the earth and carve that pathway for yourself. That new journey, that new portion of your path. A more harmonized one, a more balanced one, a more sustainable one for that matter. And in it, you can connect with all of your passions so much more easily because they're not objectified by this force or this perfectionism in a inhibiting or stress-inducing way. Big 
spin your wheels. You put other people first. You quiet your own messages that tell you what you need. And you've quieted them maybe for so long that they're finding new ways to talk to you. And even those we can avoid until it's just a real friggin' problem, guys. I really want to work with the back, same thing that I'm doing here, but we want to work with the back because I think a lot of burnout can also come from these projections. Don't get me wrong, I love the compliments of like, wow, you're so productive, or wow, you get a lot done, like that really makes me feel good about myself. But at the same time, it can, um, we can let it influence us in a way that I'm sure it wasn't intended to as in, I have to keep this up, I have to prove myself, I have to, I have to keep this going, people like this, I have to keep this going or, oh I got, um, I got extra credit, I got a raise, I got a bonus because of this, so I have to keep this going you know what I'm trying to say, so I just want to slice down the back, the auric back clearing any projections that in any way kind of make you feel like you need to keep this going if it's just time to let it go, right? Sorry for the sound effects, but I feel like we need them. Just let it relax off of you. gonna build a little grid, just a mini grid around you. How cute is this? I got this from my grandmother's house when I went. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's not a candle holder. I think it's one of those like, I don't know, it's just freaking cute. Directions of consciousness here. Just using it as a um, holder, almost like a sphere holder. So this is um, a shungite. I'm confusing sugalite and shungite. Shungite is the black one. Sugalite, I'm pretty sure, is the purpley one. Here we have an egg, and shungai is a very healing stone, very healing. The other day, I keep this in my windowsill, and the other day it fell off and cracked. Don't try to show you, but there's an actual crack, like a cracked egg. I need
But yes, this falling out of my window and cracking really holds significance for me. This is a stone that I worked with when I had a cancer scare a few years back and I was doing a lot of healing, physical healing. So, the cracked egg to me really symbolizes time to like change, time to break out, time to punch through this wall, like punch through this reality to be reborn and I just want to support or intend or hold space for your rebirth here because it is that this extreme burnout, health crisis, anxiety, whatever it is that you're going through is a marker of time you know, there's you before and there's you after so I just wanted to bring this in because I think it was really symbolic and I'm gonna just place this between your feet, just nestled in this sweet little, <laughs> and place this between your feet here, focusing on your rebirth in this earth. Yes, your mind, yes, how you think, yes, your alchemization of thoughts, and holding your boundaries, and being aware, yes, but specifically here with this stone, focusing on the intention of the change in your reality the change in the navigation, the actual reality shift, you know, the physical reality shift. This is a, I think it's pronounced quantum quattro. It has um, smoky quartz, uh, crystal cola, azulite, maybe even a Diaptase or something. This is what it looks. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do it good for you and it's kind of hard, but truly beautiful stone I got this from formerly known as the real crystal winch And I love this piece so much. It's got so much good stuff. It's almost like a vitamin It reminds me of a vitamin misaligned designs so I just want to move the stone through your energy field that smoky quartz that comfort the crystal cola the heart communication the azul light or azul understanding that consciousness and whatever else we can support here just charging channeling again focusing to fill your tank to charge you up to replenish to love, abundance, faith, trust. All right, and I'm going to put this to the front of you, but by the shungai, but in front, so like right in front of your feet, but in the middle. looking. Like if I put this in a cone, wouldn't you think oh, you could take a bite out of it? Like it's a pina colada snow cone or something, which sounds so good. A papalite is very supportive in connecting us to the higher realms. And I want to call this in and on your behalf, if you don't mind, of course you can reject but I want to call in your guidance. What do you need? What is your change 
how can we correct this? How can we addend, addem, addendum, like shift this? How can we rework this? How can we go back to that contract we made with ourselves for whatever reason in this lifetime, in the past, however long it's been, that's led to burnout, or again, for the future or the past? But how can we, what do we need, really? Like, soul, <laughs> what do I need? What is right for me? Sometimes it's right to push through. But sometimes it's right to pull back. Sometimes it's right to completely shift. Completely shift. Sometimes things need to be given up. Sometimes things need to be um, developed further. What is right for you uniquely? Right? gonna hold my little snow cone here and move through, channeling through, calling through, and feel that support of yourself, your highest support, surrounding you and backing you up. This is the backbone here. The spirit connection. The guidance of the higher self, the higher soul. Life is paradoxical, paradox. Life holds much dichotomy, contrast. It's not one or the other, it's both. We're, yes, meant to create, meant to experience, but we're also meant uh, for others, but we're also meant to take care of ourselves. Just channeling through and calling through that guidance. May you receive this information. Maybe you already know it. What do you need? What's this behind your feet so we have the quantum quattro the shanghai and then the apopolite backing it up okay so just behind your ankle but center
and just support the flow into this new direction, into this new life, this new amended, supported, grounded shift for your overall wellness, your overall health, happiness, comfort. Okay, so we're going to begin with some pulling so you can move through that flow, okay? Pulling to get those channels that we already started to carve our envision. Flowing, supported by your higher self. Your soul, your highest intelligence through these pathways. And these are multiple pathways. It's not just work, right? It's your relationships. It's the steps you take for yourself each day. And I'm going to go through it. It's the changes you make in your day to day life. It's the balance, it's the getting to bed on time. The rivers, the channels you choose to swim in, and I'm just gonna focus on your palm. Okay, we're really gonna focus on this palm, the receptive palm point. Actually, let me just move through the meridians here just to make sure we're all clear. So in through the receptive channels into you, your chalice, your vessel, and just clearing the outward flow as well. Okay, so I'm going to hold my wand with my hand, pushing into your palm kind of like this. Just a gentle push, not channel through. So focus on your receptive palm, most likely your left palm. I'm focusing on support, on help, on financial support, on how the earth can fold to support us in ways we never anticipated or designed or thought of ourselves. Feel it in your wrist, moving up, your arm, your um, forearm. Feel it in your elbow. Feel the love, the witnessing, the holding of space for you. Feel it up, up, up into your shoulder, through your upper arm. And feel it filling your heart. Or maybe feel it where you feel it, right? Do you feel it in your roots? Do you feel it in your gut? Is it in your head? Just notice it. And you can look it up later, maybe what that might mean. But let this go to the points of you, the aspects, the facets of you, and your life, and your reality that it needs to. Let yourself be supported. Receive. Receive, receive, take a breath, take a drink, feel it. And again, I'm gonna move through and just let those pathways move. I'm gonna channel in. Here I have a selenite sphere, and I'm going to place this in your left hand. I was just bummed. 
but I'm going to place this in your left hand so I know your hand might not look just like mine, but just like I'm imagine this is yours, we're placing it in. So just feel it's heavy, it's smooth, it's so round. Just feel this, okay? Just feel this in your hand. Just activating the stone and again supporting your breath in, your um, yin, your receptivity. Right? Now, in your dominant palm point, we're placing this selenite tower generator. It's very pretty. Light is so cool. <laughs> okay, again with the six. Balance is the key, so I'm sorry, my hand, of course, is not exactly like yours, but picture this as your hand, and we're going to place this in just like that, okay? Holding this in your hand, focusing to activate the stone. All right, and holding the sphere and this tower or generator, holding my hands on yours, channeling through, just or setting intentions to allow your energy to balance. Balance here. Balance because we are out of balance. If we are dealing with burnout, we're putting out more than we're receiving. And we've been doing it for a long time. Let yourself receive, whether you have to give it to yourself, or it's from the environment, or both, <laughs> probably both. But just feel that, and also feel the perfect tapering or tempering in that outward flow. Okay, I'm just going to place my hands up here, channeling through again with that intention of harmony. Perfect flow, perfect communication, clearing those bulky, calloused blockages, those dry spots. Okay, and we're going to focus now to truly heal and release. So, we've had our not so supportive path or habit or whatever it might be. Let's just say workflow, but this can be anything. We've had a, forgive me for saying it this way, but an unhealthy version of that. We've carved a new path. We've directed it through the new path. And now we're going to mend to kind of close off, heal, retire <laughs> those unhealthy pathways and channels. Okay, so as you're holding the selenite and you're balancing, we're going to focus on just clearing, so gently mending, retiring, I like that word here, putting them on the shelf. They served you perhaps, but it's time to do something that serves you even more. Okay, and please don't blame yourself for what you've gone through. I know I'm I know better. Why did I let this happen? Yeah, I was feeling that way. Why did I keep pushing? So, no blame. We're just clearing. Just like, just erasing a uh, line in the sand.
I know that parasocial relationships can be kind of toxic or just weird, but I can't tell you how much the relationships that we have, like you and me, have helped me really replenish my own battery through the kind of comments that you left on my community post or on Patreon or um, in the vlogs that I've made recently or the videos I put up speaking about what I'm going through so I wanted to really, and this is like a nod to <laughs> Um, Bill, well, there's so many of you, like there's so many names, but this is a nod to Bill because he's the first person that ever told, um, sent me this and now I buy it for myself because I love it so much. But um, it's Vanilla Kisses. I've used it a few times, of course. It's from Enchanted Essences and it's so sweet. It's such a sweet, beautiful fragrance. And I just want to send you that, like, platonic <laughs> um, care and boo-boo kisses or support or whatever, however you want to think about it. So I really want to surround you in this now. And just say thank you so much for your kind comments and support. It truly helped me. Like, it truly helped me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm okay. We're gonna start down the back. With eight, and now we're gonna go on the side. And again. It smells so good. nine on my hands. the sweetness all around you and may you give that to yourself as well may you receive it here and in many aspects of your life but may you give it to yourself my health scare is really focused in this arm specifically and even if I'm like freaking out and feeling faint I'm just grabbing my arm and like I need that instead of rejecting. I don't like this. I have to love it. I have to love it all. I love myself enough. Okay. I said this in my like vloggy crybaby video, but something that I'm just gonna share here as well because it's coming to me. So one of the things that I really need to work on is this promise to myself, this specifically my body, but to me, that body, you can trust me. You can trust me to take care of you. You can you're safe with me, body. Like, you're safe with me. So 
I just want to kind of share that. I'm just going to go through. Alright. Use my... Also from the rattle maker. You're the one that creates balance for yourself. The world is not balanced. The world is not fair. It's not bad. It's just not fair. Don't expect anyone to come and save you. Although we are out here, we do save each other. You saved me this week and many other times. Many other times. But what I mean is we have to be accountable. We're the ones that need to hold ourselves accountable kind of things. Not in a blaming way, of course, but just to empower ourselves to regain that sovereignty and use this as an opportunity to make a great change, necessary change, important, highly, highly, highly important.